Hello internet friends! Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm so happy that you're here. Um, it is January. It is the beginning of January. January 4th or something. Um, yeah, January 4th as I'm filming this. Um, December was not a great month for um, me to film and upload videos. I didn't do very many videos. I'm hoping that January will be better. Um, we're going to start the new year off right. Let me just explain a little bit about what was going on in December. Not really excuses because I don't feel like you need to make excuses for not uploading content all the time. Um, just that these are like some of the things that were happening in my life. Um, one, I let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I have been having some health issues. I mentioned this in a previous video that um, it I was having some um, symptoms that led my doctors to believe that it's possible my cancer had come back. And um, while that is still a concern, it is now from from the testing that they've done so far doesn't seem to be that big of a possibility. It's not very likely um, based on the results they've gotten so far, we believe. So um, they have addressed the intestinal issue. So I do not have colon cancer. Always a good thing. Um, I do have diverticulitis, which is a painful um, annoying, irritating condition. If you know anything about that, anybody that has diverticulitis, you know it's not fun, but it's not cancer. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to just smile and be happy about it and just be glad that um, I don't have colon cancer. Yay! So I still have to deal with the tumor that is on my adrenal gland. Um, Again, from the scans, it doesn't look like it might be, like, it doesn't look like cancer. But those are just scans. I'm going to an endocrinologist, so we're going to, you know, keep checking things out, keep doing more tests, keep seeing what's going on with my health, and try to stay on top of everything. This year, one of my resolutions is to focus more on my health because I tend to not... I guess like I tend to put everything else in front of it and I think oh this has to be done I can't rest this has to be done um, there's no time for me to like take my vitamins or to do my whatever that I need to do because there's always something else that needs to be done but now this year I'm hoping to make my um, my health mental physical um, emotional all of it a priority and um, it's gonna be uh, I would say I don't want to say difficult but it, it will be an interesting journey for me because I'm not used to that so we'll see how it goes um, next of course December's holiday season so there's a lot going on there it's very busy my son came home to visit from England so that was wonderful. He was here for two weeks and I miss him very much. Um, but I know that he's happy. I know that he's healthy. And I know that he's where he needs to be right now. Doing what he needs to do right now. And um, I'm just so proud of him. So I'm glad that he's doing what he's got to do. So the two weeks he was here, I just really want to focus on time with him. So I didn't spend a whole lot of time filming, editing, doing anything like that. Um, there were some issues with BoxyCharm boxes not getting here like they were supposed to so that I could do unboxings. So that, um, that'll that be a different video. I don't know, I know which video is going to go up first. But anyway, that's definitely a different video. And I'll explain all about that. So there were just a few things going on in December that just kind of made it like not great for filming. But we're back. It's January. We are good to go again. I'm so happy. Um, let's. Uh, okay. <laughs> one thing at a time, Melissa. One thing at a time. I get so ahead of myself. 
Okay, so we had our last giveaway for 100 subscribers, and it was wonderful. And um, I need to check and see if she actually received her package yet. I mailed it out a while ago. We'll see. I'll check on to that. Anyway, but, but, um, that was a good giveaway. We are at 185, you guys. 185. If we hit 200, we're going to do another giveaway. And I already have the stuff for it. So I'm very excited about that. It will be a palette and some lip things just like before, except it's not ColourPop this time. Another one of my favorites. But you'll see, you'll see. Um, so we just got to get, you know, so if you're watching, hit subscribe, um, ring the bell so you know when the giveaway is. And if you didn't win last time and you entered, you didn't win, I'm very sorry. Not everybody can win. I can't afford to do that. But um, maybe you'll win this time. And maybe you'll be even ex more excited about what this prize is. So, um, yeah. So we did the 100 do the 200, um, moving right along. Another one of my goals this year, one of my New Year's resolutions, I guess you can call it, is to grow this channel, to grow our community and our friendships and to get to know more people on here and to make this a um, bigger, happier, better, more positive place for everyone involved. So, that being said, we've done all the updates. I told you about, you know, all the reasons I didn't film in December. So, let's move on. Okay, so because I didn't film in December, I've got, I'm behind on a few things. We're going to move on. We're going to do two small unboxings today, both December boxes. Sorry about that. One is our Lip Monthly, which I guess is technically a bag, not a box. And it comes like this. Lip Monthly, I think, is $12.95 a month. And then you get a little bag. This this month or the month of December looks like ice cream. That seems like a... I don't know if that's ice cream. I don't know what it is. But it seems like kind of an odd thing for the month of December. But okay. And then it's supposed to have four to five lip products. Here's a little um, thing. The, this month we're walking in a winter wonderland. The little elves at Lip Monthly have been busy curating an amazing December bag. Okay. Well, let's see what they got for us, okay? Right off the bat, I'm seeing this full-size lipstick from Hikari in Cabernet. That looks pretty. It's cruelty free, always a positive thing on this channel. Oh, let me show you the component. It's just a little black lipstick, very cute. And pretty color. Ooh, I really like that. I like that a lot. Okay, very nice, seems creamy. Doesn't smell like anything. Next, we have a Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Longwear Eye Eyeshadow Stick. You know what they did? This is blah, 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 blah. Come on, Melissa. It's been a while since I filmed. I don't know why I'm using that as an excuse. Even when I was filming all the time, like I still couldn't speak. Anyway, they did this to us last month. They gave us an eyeshadow, a single eyeshadow, in with all the lip products, even though it's called Lip Monthly. And it looks like they did that again, um, but it's a shadow stick in the color Moro Bay. Okay. That's what it looks like. And... Did you unscrew it? Oh no, you just pulled it. Okay, so it's a very nice brown. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't really have a lot of um, 
shadow sticks. It's called Swimmable, so I'm assuming it's waterproof. It's just weird, right? That it comes in a lip bag? Okay. Okay. Moving on. It's a lip liner here. Creamy Lip S SPO Liner by Evio Beauty. And I'm assuming it's the color of the cap here. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Oh, I really liked how creamy that went on. Oh, sorry. I moved the camera. I didn't mean to. It's this one right here. It's super creamy. Yeah. I like that. All right. And very wearable color. Beautiful. So far, these colors are great. And then the last thing in here is from... Sormay Treatment Cosmetics All Day Smooch Proof Lip Stain. Smooch Proof. We're doing a lot of smooching. Oh, and it is like a per not not periwinkle. Um. Maybe periwinkles. Oh, it looks like a felt tip marker. Oh, interesting. Wow. It is a lip stain. Very much. It's an interesting color. It's a little light for me, I think. I don't know. We'll try it out. Okay. So that's everything. Nothing else in our lip monthly bag. So four things. One of which is, no. Yeah. Yeah. Four things. Four things. One of which is an eyeshadow stick. Okay. Moving on to Birchbox. Birchbox is $15 a month. It comes in like a little packaging like this and you just tear it open, which I've already done. Hello! Hello, internet friends! No, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. And then when you open it up, um, you get the actual box. This month's box is gorgeous. Look at this. Can you guys see that? It is so pretty. And then, oh, this one opens up like this. Sometimes they lift off. Sometimes they have like little drawers. This one happens to open like this. And it has like this little thing in it. It says, this is for you, the best you, the joyful you, the powerful you, the confident you, the well-adjusted, just like your parents always hoped for you, the awkward but lovable you, the coy you, the you that you miss, the kicking ass and taking names you, the you you always wanted to be, the you you never thought you could be, the you that sits in the mirror waiting for time to see you. You may be out of moisturizer, but you're not out of time. Give a little to yourself because the best you requires a little time with you. For once, it's all about you. Wow, okay. And it says that there's a little thing in here that tells you all the products. As we close out the year, we just want to take a moment to say thank you. We know that your life is so full and we couldn't be more grateful that for a few minutes each month, we get to help you find some time for you. We wouldn't be Birchbox without you. Cheers to you in the years to come. And then inside you have all the little products wrapped up. This is so cute, you guys. Okay, let's see what we have. First off, I'm pulling out this little thing right here. Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. Okay, this is not a mask. Cleanse skin and leave slightly damp. Spread gel thinly and quickly over your forehead, cheeks, chin, neck, and decollete. Quickly begin massaging these areas in circular motions with slightly damp hands. After 15 to 20 seconds, solids should form under the fingertips. This means the peel is activating correctly as the gel is now combining with your dead skin, 
Massage for two to three minutes until all of the gel has combined with dead skin. Cleanse area again. Save time. Try using the peel in a shower. Interesting. Okay. So I'm just going to rub all the skin off my face. I'm down for that. What's this? Phase Zero Cotton Candy Blusher. Cotton candy sounds like it's going to be super duper pink. Um, I can't even get the damn thing up. How do you open it? Here we go. I got it. I got it. No worries, guys. New year, but I still can't open packages. Why can't I get this? I thought I had it. Okay, I got it. I finally got it. It's like a box in a box in a box. So finally, the little blusher looks like this. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's super duper pink. Um, you know, I don't... I don't know who would be able to use somebody with very fair skin. Should I swatch it? I kind of want to keep it. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to put it in a giveaway. Maybe the next giveaway, maybe not. But I'm going to just put that to the side because I know I'll never be able to use that. I have very, very fair light skin, but not that light. Um, okay, next. Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Kale and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner. Okay. So you get a little sample of shampoo and conditioner. Um, I'm totally down for that. I love trying new shampoos and conditioners. I'm always chasing that, like, that feeling of that Devine's shampoo, which is the best. Okay, next is something from Locke or L-O-C. Uh, let's see. One and done shadow stick. Hey, it's another shadow stick. Champagne problems. Why can't I get anything open today? Jeez. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So, let me... You know what? I know it says it's a shadow stick. This is it right here. But that might make a really cute highlighter. If you could buff that out. That might make a really nice highlighter. Okay. But that's it right there. Very pretty. Um, two shadow sticks in one day. Funny. And then we have a dry texturizing spray from Aribi. Aribe? I don't know. Texturizing spray. Okay. Spray where you want volume. Style to desired finish and hold. A brilliant alternative to dry shampoo. Well, that's it. Um, this talks about the products. It talks about the full size prices, though, so not really going to worry about that too much. Um, the shampoo and conditioner is like $30 a piece if you get a big one. The shadow sticks, $10. The texturizing spray full size is $46. That's too much, I can tell you right now. Phase Zero Blusher, $21. Real Chemistry, 3-Minute Peel, $48. That seems like a lot, but, you know, when you're rubbing the skin off your face, it's going to be a lot. Um, so, yeah. So, what do you think about those two little boxes that we did? The Lip Monthly and the um, Birch Box are always, like, two of my favorites, really. They're the smaller boxes, and you get, like, sometimes trial sizes, but I feel like you get kind of a weird little assortment of products. And I, I always look forward to getting them. I always think they're kind of cool. Um, hopefully, for January, we will have the BoxyCharm regular. The BoxyCharm Premium. Fingers crossed. I don't know about that. We'll see. 
um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and then another Lip Monthly and Birch Box. And that's it, I think. I think. Okay, guys. Um, hope everyone's having a wonderful New Year so far. And I thank you for spending just a little bit of time with me. Please subscribe again. We are doing our giveaway. And, um, well, we will be doing giveaway when we hit 200. And the only way to win is to be subscribed. So you want to you wanna be subscribed because you want to win. And you want to come back and hang out with us again. All right. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.